we want to do this in every part of the world because it, I think it's very good hospitality that we show that everyone is sitting on this one big table. Oh, we do not have such a big table anywhere in the world. Today, 1,620 people is going to be amazing. And you have cooked for all of them or designed the menu for all of them. You are one of the greats, that's why I say. So would you want to do this sometime in India, Bangladesh and all that? I never say never. I'm always open to hearing um, of, of uh, spreading uh, culinary, you know, wealth and passion in all parts of the world. So maybe we can talk um, at another time, but I would certainly not say I wouldn't want to do it. I love travelling the world and bringing the Melbourne message across the world. And it's something that I have done many times um, for, you know, the Australian tourism um, uh, and, you know, in America. Um, in uh, places like Thailand, Japan, Hong Kong, I've done many dinners around the world. Um, so I, I would always welcome an invitation to, to go to other countries and cook. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Melbourne Food and Wine Festival. This is the most important day in the calendar. The longest lunch, the world's longest lunch. And where, where is it held? In Melbourne's Grand Prix stretch. This is the whole stretch where the Grand Prix is going to be held next week. There's 1,620 people, to be precise, sitting on each of these tables, enjoying this lovely menu. Now the, the chef, what is doing all this is, is Chef Guy Grossi. He is one of Australia's leading chefs. He has designed this menu, he said, with all the fresh ingredients from Victoria and mainly with a touch of Italiano in it. And the wines what are being served are all Victorian wines. And all this is put together with the great Peter Rowland Catering Company. They put all this together. We'll take you back there and show you how they get this all done. There's a lot of preparation in this to, to happen. So there's a lot of chefs, as you said, there's many chefs. There's no such thing that too many cooks spoil the broth. Today we need as many chefs on hand to give us this beautiful lunch. For this lunch to be successful, we need a lot of people. We have all these cooks in the kitchen and now we have the girls on the grid. And the, what are y'all going to do actually, Melbourne girls? Today we're handing out Guy Grossi's cold brew coffee, still on the table. It's, it's a nice day to have cold coffee today, isn't it? Oh, Melbourne absolutely. has put, a, uh, put on this weather with 38 <laughs> degrees. Uh, and so y'all are going to give that, that's the after the meal y'all handing out the yeah, coffee. Dessert time. Dessert time. Yeah. Uh, thank you for doing thank that for, the, for this beautiful lunch. It's a family lunch, I feel it's one big family sitting down on one big table. <laughs> it yeah. is. Yeah. And Victoria has put that together and this is the world's longest lunch. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. This lovely lady with the umbrella. Ma'am, how are you enjoying your meal, ma'am? Oh, it's beautiful. It's really lovely. In this beautiful track, it's really all the racing colours are there. I can see all of you all of it. <laughs> with the racing, it's a bit hot. It is a little bit hot, but it's beautiful. Still, that's Melbourne weather. It is, that's exactly right. Better to be hot than cold. That's good, ma'am. You enjoy your meal. Okay, thank you very look, much. Look at the fan. That's your oh. fan. Look at the fan. Oh, look at that fan. And the thing. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. Well prepared. Oh, it has cool air too. Ah, oh, that's nice. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> thank you. Here we are in the nuts and bolts of the longest lunch and I have with me the sous chef from Peter Rowland and he just now served up this great food. Everything is gone except the dessert. What can you tell me about this lovely main course? What is, what so the main course today was a baby chicken, a really small little poison with a little lemon risotto inside on a little uh, sautéed kale with uh, some olive oil, salt, pepper and then a beautiful uh, a, a reduction of uh, a, a, a chicken jus which we take stock and reduce it right down and give you a nice rich sauce over the top, a bit of butter to finish it off. Oh, so, that, um, and now we are, that's what it is there. That's what it is there. Yeah. And I on can the see. table there was beautiful roasted heirloom carrots, some um, salt and some nice things and uh, now we're getting ready to do dessert. And your dessert, they said, is, since Victoria is the capital of dairy, mostly everything is milk desserts, isn't it? Yes, that's it. Exactly. Can I cut out what we're making at the moment? So they're just topping that off at the moment, and then we're going to be done. How many people helped you today in this in this unit? So we had three kitchens today, and uh, in each kitchen is about 25 staff in each kitchen, and then we've got about another 60 or 70 staff front of house. 
So, and then we had another 30 chefs back at our production kitchen producing all this lovely food. So, uh, big shout out to them as well. This is the kitchen of Peter Rowland with a lot of chefs. He brings all his food in from his, from his uh, factories and then they come here and they put it together. All these international chefs. Today we can see they are going to be busy. I'll show you how they plate up all this food in a minute. This is the beautiful chicken what they have created. It has no bones. It is stuffed with some tenna cotta and some the leaves which are around it is the kale with all these lovely juices. It smells beautiful. Here we are on this beautiful bike. What do we have behind? We have some real good cold coffee and that's what's going to be served for the after dessert. Victoria is famous for its dairy products. That's why as our head chef and master chef said, Guy Rossi, that we are going, all the desserts are different types of milk. How did you all go in the bar? Did you all, very busy. What, very busy. Yeah. what was the most thing, today is a hot day, did you all have, I can see so many bottles of white wine here, all open, but people never consume so much of wine on the day, is there? <laughs> Not during the day, no, but when it's a hot day like this, the white wine's gone, the beers are all gone. All your beers are gone? All beers are gone. That was very good. Yeah. So the 620 people here all had a good drink That's on this hot day. Well, good day. And you all did a very good job by giving it out to them. Uh, you all right. delivered that. Huh? Thank you for the thing. And what was the most popular wine or the beer today? The, uh, the Moscato and the heavy beer. The heavy beer and the, the Moscato. Uh, sorry, the white wine and the uh, heavy beer. And what was the heavy beer? Yeah, uh, down here, I'm sure. Yep, yeah, this was the heavy beer what they sold. Thank you for your service for making this a very pleasurable afternoon.